The young and the rest is Friday, August 19th. Kyle defended his mother and asked Jack and Phyllis for a divorce, leaving Summer feeling angry and shocked. Why act like that? Meanwhile, Talia appears and Mike and makes Phyllis Nikki excited while Diane's afraid of turning pale. She immediately finds Allie to discuss the future. Phyllis tells Summer that she is to let go of her feelings for Jack, and there's nothing to let go or hold on to. He's a lousy man and should not trust and wait for anything. It motivated Summer and divorced Kyle, and she also felt unappreciated. Nikki shared that Tali is a person with a high voice and position in a major magazine. Their relationship is a very strong one, and especially Talia knows about Diane, with a different name and has lived in the same city with her for almost 10 years. This is what Phyllis really wanted, and Diane's past is something of value. Jack is very happy to be cared for by Diane, but didn't this pretense of affection make him lose his own mind? Diane is using him to get revenge on Phyllis, and there's no love going on here. That said, keep it short. Jack abandons a smart, powerful woman who loves him wholeheartedly to go with a scheming and dishonest woman. What a stupid choice, but it was his decision, and he had accepted. Summer could be pregnant, and she doesn't want Kyle to know, and she doesn't want him to be with her just for this baby, and she's willing to raise the child alone without any reason at all. Some information suggests that Devin will fire Imani and Nate, and they don't contribute anything to the company but just unreasonable demands. Therefore, there will be changes in personnel.